Hey everybody, today is Cinco de Mayo and we wanted to share a little bit of the history of what this holiday actually is. And thank goodness that we have so many brothers and sisters who have worked with us over the years from Mexico, from Puebla, which is where Cinco de Mayo happened. And so we want you to hear some of the history through their voice. Enjoy. Hello Rockman people, Gabo Asensio here reporting from Puebla, Mexico. For those who don't know me, I've been working at camp for four, three years now as a member of the camping and climbing crew. Today it's a very important day for us because we are celebrating Cinco de Mayo, which most of the people may think that it's the Mexican Independence Day, but it isn't. So it was 8062 and a lot was happening in Mexico. To begin with, the country was totally broke and it owned a lot of money to Spain, England and France. At the same time, a big group of people wanted to have a monarchy instead of a democracy. This means that they wanted to have a king instead of a president. In order to accomplish this, Napoleon III sent his French army to fight against the Mexicans. So by May 3rd, General Ignacio Zaragoza arrived to Pueblo City to organize a defense line against the conservative and French troops. He had around 2,000 men with him and about three generals with him to aid the defense. One of the commanders was there to help, his name is Thomas Oran, was directed to organize a barricade to obligate the French and conservative troops to take another route in order to buy some time for the general Ignacio Zaragoza. So Aglixco's objective was just to reroute the troops, not confront them. They did this successfully, making them take a different route all the way down south to another town and then all the way up to Puebla. So their objective, like I said, was to make them sure they took a different route and they did that successfully with only three casualties and a couple um, that were injured. I want to give you a good picture of what we're celebrating here. A small army of a broke country who was maybe not as prepared as their opponent defeated the biggest army in the world. And it all happened right here in the Loreto and Guadalupe forts. Enjoy the tacos, enjoy the guacamole, and celebrate this big day to Mexico.